vaccination. You can follow me on my Instagram at SnowQueenLA. Hey. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So at least a good week or two before the confrontation took place with Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez, Teofimo, he did an interview where he got extremely agitated when Devin Haney's name was even mentioned by reporters. All the reporters were doing was telling him that, you know, Josh Taylor, he said, you got unfinished business at 135. You need to fight Devin Haney. He was basically saying, I'm undisputed at 140. You need to fight Devin Haney to become undisputed at 135 first. So Tio, he tries his best to respond to the question, but can't really explain why he hasn't fought Devin Haney yet. Then a reporter starts to ask him another question. And before the reporter could even get the question out, Tio cuts the reporter off. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and just play the exchange right here. To be revived. Tio Fimo, you said that uh, Josh Taylor said you have unfinished business. In interviews, when asked what that unfinished business is, he has said Devin Haney because of the whole WBC thing. Um, yeah, but we just spoke right now with Marisa. Right here, and he right. said, but the thing no, is like, that, that conversation if, if, shouldn't you be gotta around, realize this. Just said it. Excuse me. WBA has uh, super and then regular, right? right. Mm -hmm. Franch the franchise is the same thing in the WBC. It is super and then the whatever WBC uh, that he is, is regular. Regardless of what it is, those are the new things that are going on. And when you get that, that is the most prestigious in their in their, in their their organization. So uh, the question I was getting- In their council. Right. Because the, the, it's the World Boxing Council. And well, the question I was getting to, because obviously that's something- Look, I know that y'all gonna rep Devin and do all that, but what has he really done? No, you know I'm saying like, in reality, what has Devin really done? I know a lot of y'all, and I'm sorry to say this to you, bro. Be real with you, but don't be dick riding somebody that's fake. You know what I'm saying? Because then that just shows my character with you that you fake. Okay, guys, so you notice the reporter never even got to ask the original question he wanted to. Tio had cut him off from the beginning. And then when the reporter tried to basically ask his original question, Tio cut him off again because he didn't want to hear any questions about Devin Haney. And Tio just told you right there. He felt that if you're saying anything about Devin Haney and him fighting, then that means you are deriding Devin Haney. Now, the irony of this is since Teofimo just said that, that means he feels that Mike Tyson is the biggest Devin Haney derider. Because months before he just did this interview, Mike Tyson told Teo to his face, that fight needs to be next. He wasn't implying anything. He wasn't quoting what Josh Taylor said. He said, when you gonna fight this man? And look at the different energy that T.O. Fimo had when he was talking to Mike Tyson. Check out this. What's up, brother? Hi, Mike. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I was just saying, man, I love you, brother. But somebody like was it? talking shit, you know? So Who was talking shit? Oh, you, you, please. <laughs> what you up to, my man? I'm just chilling. Oh, yeah? You training? Tell me you want to fight, man. Tell me oh, no, yeah, we're going we talking about it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. But we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Let me, let me, let me see what they do in Australia first. You know, we don't like what they do. It should do. be the next we gonna fight, this man. Fight it happen. should be the next fight. It should be the next fight, right? Yeah. So there it is. Mike Tyson, he tells T.O. Fimo to his face. Forget about any other fight. This Devin Haney fight should be the next fight, right? And you never hear T.O. Fimo Tell Mike Tyson how he really feels. That if anybody wants me to fight Devin Haney, they must be a dick rider. Now guys, throughout this whole interview that Mike Tyson did with Teofimo Lopez, Mike Tyson was pushing hard to make this fight between Teofimo and Devin Haney. And do you guys know that at one point, Teofimo actually called Mike Tyson an instigator? Yeah. He called him an instigator for trying to make this Devin Haney fight. 
And it's crazy because why would you call someone an instigator if you want to fight this person? Usually when people use the word instigate, it's when they don't want to do something and they feel that someone is agitating the situation and trying to force you to do something, which is just making things worse. So when Mike Tyson tells T.O. he wants to see this fight, T.O. calls him an instigator. When the reporter even asks him, not even ask him, quotes what Josh Taylor said about him fighting Devin Haney, he calls the reporters dick riders. When Devin Haney pulled up on T.O. Fimo, T.O. said, this is whack. This whole confrontation situation is whack. And then later on, T.O.'s father, he said to Eddie Hearn, you set us up. Set you up for what? Promoting a potential fight between you and Devin Haney? I mean, senior, he's making it sound like somebody set him up to be jumped or something, right? Somebody set him up to be hurt. I mean, how come we never hear Devin Haney talking like this? Hey, you guys tried to set me up. Hey, Mike Tyson, stop instigating a fight between me and Teofimo Lopez. Talking to the reporters. Man, why y'all keep asking me questions about Teofimo? We all know why we don't hear Devin Haney saying the same things. Because Devin Haney wants to fight and he has made it very, very clear. And once again, if Devin Haney gets past Jojo Diaz, which is not a guaranteed win because Jojo Diaz, you know, he's a dangerous fighter. Devin Haney has finally cornered him, but a cornered animal is the most dangerous animal. But once Devin, or if Devin gets past Jojo Diaz, it's gonna be very, very difficult for Teofimo Lopez to justify turning down that fight if he gets past Cambosis, which is also not a guaranteed win. In fact, I see the Teo versus Cambosis fight as more of a tougher fight than I see Devin versus Jojo Diaz. At least tougher for Teofimo to win. But with that being said, so clearly, like I said, this is how Teo feels about Mike Tyson. This is how he feels about anyone that wants to watch this fight, but it makes no sense because it was T.O. that had been telling people for the longest that he's going to fight against Devin Haney. Now, all of a sudden, if someone asks about Devin Haney, now he's insulting them. We know what time it is, don't we? That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man, Scalp Carolinas, on Instagram. Contact them at 704-499-3471 and make sure you follow them on Instagram.